Hello and welcome back to part two of I switch floors and entire rooms with my parents and inherit my own floor in the house videos. <laughs> That's a mouthful and a half. So if you haven't seen my previous video, you will not know what I'm talking about. So make sure you go and watch that for it to all make sense. But yes, we're here for part two. I'm um, filming this on the same day. If you guys remember the outfit, I'm in the exact same thing. Um, but basically, I'm going to start in this room. I'm going to start in my new dressing room, which used to be my bedroom, but a floor below. Do you follow? You know, the desk is in the same place. There used to be a bed there. But the floor below, now we've come up a floor, the bed's not in here, yada yada yada. So, we are trying to tackle, by we I mean me and you guys metaphorically, um, all of this space. Now, previously I had a completely different room shape for my dressing room. And this one looks better as a dressing room a million percent because it's very long and skinny. But it doesn't fit as much in it, even though it's bigger. Um, so rails are harder to get in here wardrobes are harder to get in here so i have the um wardrobe that i had in the other room um the exact same wardrobe ikea pax wardrobe really great really useful if i was to buy this again i would not get these weird like hangy things they're for like jeans and shears but they're kind of impractical um and then the wardrobe that I bought came with an extra piece of this, but I couldn't fit it all in. So I gave mum this one and then mum attached it to this wardrobe that she had in here. She decided she no longer wanted this wardrobe. So I've kept this wardrobe. So I've got that wardrobe and that wardrobe, but that's the only hanging space in this wardrobe. Otherwise, in the side, it has some shelves. I don't know if you can see that. And then obviously I have more shelves here. Um, so then I've put my little floating rails that I had in the other room here. Now I've got the two part one and then I've got an extension of a one part one. Um, so obviously long dresses can go there. Then I've got my shelves, yada, yada, yada. So there's a lot less hanging space per se, um, but a lot more shelf space which i'm not used to i'm only used to hanging space um sorry it's gonna go a bit dark occasionally the light is not great um but the first thing i'm actually gonna do now that i have less hanging space and more like folding space is i'm going to collect up all of my jumpers um like my hoodies and i'm gonna put them in the cupboard in here um not only have i got like all of my clothes that are hung up but also i went through and um got all of my summer clothes out of the um loft so i've got all of those that you guys would have seen in the previous video and then i've also got all my stuff that i've had with me at lakes the last three months so there's a lot to unpack as well which makes it even more difficult but the first thing I'm going to do is just make more hanging space by getting rid of the jumpers. In here, I currently have, like, some weird jewellery and stuff. Um, I'm just going to empty all of this out first. We're just going to bring this. Oh, my God, you just went flying. I'm a freaking idiot. Honestly, I should not be allowed out the house. Um, I don't know how to not be dangerous um all my jewelry i'm actually planning on putting down at the other end so i'm going to take that down there now now also i'm very aware that i'm probably going to change my mind like a million times um but you know i just want to get stuff in and then i can do the mind changing but right now just get it in go from there okay this cupboard is now empty and ready to be filled with all of my jumpers um i am going to get a bag for stuff for depop because i know i just went through it recently but just as we've been organizing um as in like carrying everything up the stairs i've just thought i need to get rid of more it's silly it needs to go to a better home i don't need all these clothes so i ordered these like plastic ikea bags which i'm going to chuck things in that need to go into depop so let's get folding Okay, so, jumpers, 
done. I rolled them in a few different ways to just see which I get along with most. This way looks the prettiest, but that way is the most practical because I can see all of them. Um, so yeah, I managed to get rid of 15 jumpers, um, which is pretty good going. I've left a few gaps because I know that there'll be jumpers hiding in here somewhere. So now, that is that is new stuff, as in like my actual stuff, that's like my pyjamas from downstairs, that's not getting rid of. Um, but I've got another one of these and I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to reduce, 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 reuse, recycle. That's what we're saying ladies and gents. Let's go. Okay, so I've just gone through and done one of those bags, almost of stuff that's going to go on Depop. Now, I cannot tell you when that's going to go up because I'm obviously knee deep in stuff right now. So I really don't know, but it will come. So now my next plan is to everything that's on the floor hang up. Um, and then we can start organising what's going to go where. But I'm thinking dresses, tops... Though this is like a rail of like fancy shiz, um, and then what will that be like blazers and stuff? I'm honestly not sure. Um, but we're gonna start down here. Um, in fact, this is a box of stuff that needs to go elsewhere, but yeah. It says, a lot of work, to say the least. Okay, that hanger is broken. Okay, so it's looking a lot clearer. Swimwear over there. This is basically all of my dresses. Um, but, okay. This is where I plan on having the mirror. And I would love to just have a huge big mirror here and have all of this as empty space. But it's just not going to work. So, I have obviously this cupboard over here. And I think that would just be much too much of a waste and i think i should put more of my hanging rails because i have two more of them um as in like one as in like two halves um so i'm just taking all this down and i'm gonna move this shelf to next to where the mirror is gonna be which is exactly the same as i had it in my old room um i just think although it won't look as pretty i think it's a more practical idea so Let's just take down all this shells. Yeah? Okay, could you come up here and help me move a cupboard quickly? Actually, I might have to do it myself. It's more awkward than anything. So, if you remember correctly, guys, I built this myself. Oh my god, I'm dripping in sweat. Okay, yes, I am knackered, but I have finally finished unboxing all like the bags of stuff from Lakes. Um, that's all pajamas need to go into the other room. This is piles of like gym wear, clothes that need to be hung, stuff that needs to go in the jumper cupboard, underwear that needs to be sorted. Um, but me being me, I'm like, should I do my sportswear first? So I've literally got nothing organised. But, we're going to sort out where I'm going to put my shorts. I'm probably going to put my shorts in here. I'm thinking, and then maybe leggings in 
I don't know, I don't reckon I'm going to fit all my leggings and all my shorts in one, if you ask me. Um, that's a pair of shorts, that's a top. Okay, I've also chucked my joggers in here, stupidly. So that's taking up 90% of the space. A pair of joggers. joggers, joggers, joggers. Maybe I then just put tops at the bottom, because sports bras are going to be over there. from a new day of organizing. So hello, like late last night, I hung up these fairy lights above my bed, um, but I need to get some batteries and find the rest of my Polaroids. But here's a photo of G with a pitta. How cute. Um, let's update you if there's been any progress. So it doesn't look like there's been any progress, I'm not gonna lie to you, it really doesn't. Um, but there actually has been. Um, I have unpacked Oh, I still actually haven't actually unpacked everything from legs. It's a bit of a joke. I don't know how I had so much stuff. Um, but this is all, you know, like the things are hung up in the correct places. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, God, this rail is falling down. Um, that's always good. Um, I obviously need to, like, organise the dresses and the tops and everything like that. And then this is just a catastrophe. Um, but the first thing I might do is I'm gonna use this. Oh, sorry, I'm very tired to hang my joggers. Um, so I'm gonna bring in all my joggers and start hanging them on this, because I think this will be a good use of this, basically. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the one down there. We'll see. We will see. Let's start. <laughs> Why did I never do that before? This looks great. So I managed to get about four on each one and then these are spare, but to be fair, I've probably got some joggers hiding somewhere like in the wash that I haven't found by accident. Um, so I think the next thing I'm gonna try and do is like clear, I mean, that's some stuff I need to hang up, but basically clear the floor so I can get the vacuum in um, because where the lads has like um, dismantled the wardrobe is a bit of like, fluff everywhere so all of this needs to be cleaned out before I can do anything to it so I think that's what I'm gonna do let's clear Okay, floor is pretty much clear, um, and I've brought up George, Georgie boy. So, let's get vacuuming. And also, a bit of a nightmare, we've lost the, um, like, the big bit. We really need to order another one from Amazon. Um, so we only have this little bit, so when I do the floor, I have to, like, go around on my hands and knees. But, wrong setting.
vacuuming complete amazing now i'm actually gonna get some dental wipes and just clean some of the areas um just like the inside of this and stuff just to make it squeaky clean because like look all that muck this is obviously just dust that has built up yucky said you couldn't give me once you gave you head so please don't ever call again i hope that it was working worth it for something jocelyn okay let's talk about in the bin um so i do have in the other room like different like jewelry dividers that i might try and use in these um i'm gonna go get them so i found these which i think i got from ikea to like put my makeup products in but it never worked but i'm like would my sunglasses go quite well in them um i don't know we're trying we're trying um Okay, so instead I've put one of my plastic IKEA organizers, and this works so much better and looks great. Then in the spare ones, I will just put some of my containers. So then over here, I don't know if I would use these for my jewelry because basically they're like non-slip, so they're quite useful. Um, and I just don't think these are very useful with jewelry because you can kind of see that there's big gaps underneath. So, I'm going to do some sort of concoction here, maybe, with... That closes with that, doesn't it? Yeah. So, maybe I put that. Then maybe I get this one. And I put that. And then maybe we put my jewellery in here. I reckon that's work. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, jewellery complete. Now I have used this to lay like all my pretty necklaces. Not the most organised way of doing it, but we're going with it and we've got some watches. I never wear a watch and I love watches. I just never bloody wear them. Then I've got rings and dainty little earrings, some unopened jewellery and then a collection of sparkle basically. Um, I don't even know what to do next. I might start organising some of these boxes. I'm not going to use those. Sort out this bit. But then I also think I should start on my desk. I still need to organise all the clothes correctly. But I feel like at least the clothes are off. The oh my god, my back. Ow. I've already messaged a Cairo because I need some help after all this heavy lifting. Um, so... I'll probably do a little bit of reorganising here and then we'll move on to the desk because that is the bit that is the most unorganised now, pretty much. Okay, I've moved some shiz out the way, but it's time to start attacking the desk. Now, on this side, when we arrived and, like, chucked everything in, like, I just started chucking stuff in, but I haven't actually organised it. Like, that is a perfume that is supposed to be over here because, yeah, my perfumes are the first thing that I organised because I'm... A weirdo, pretty much. That's all there is to say about that. And I'm very particular about what Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to sort all of this. Now, this is all like nail files and stuff. And I'm going to put a chest of drawers in my bedroom. Um, and I'll probably put nail stuff in the chest of drawers. So I won't put it in this one because this one needs to be useful. I've also got my acrylic spinning skincare organiser from Amazon, or like makeup organiser, that I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet, but I will. But let's get the ball rolling. I'm honestly not sure how to like organise it. Um, it wasn't badly organised in my last room, but... I feel like it could do better. As this side's next to the radiator, I'm gonna try and put dry products on this side um, because I don't want my foundations 
chuck them. Oh my god, I literally just chucked everything in a bag. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, well, that's wet products, so that needs to go over here. So, blushes and highlights can pee off over here. To be fair, I did recently go and do a sort through, so I might go through and do a sort through again, but there shouldn't be much that I don't use, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yes, okay. Let's time lapse this bad boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're done for the moment in the bedroom and we are moving into the bathroom. This is now the room that is the biggest state, so it's the next one up. Now, I'm gonna pop you on the tripod because I have something very exciting. Okay, so spot these rather unattractive <laughs> Misha's. Um, tiles behind here. You guys know that I had those tiles in the room below. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I just didn't love them. Um, but it, there was a huge surface area. So I asked Dad before if I could do like stick on tiles and he was like, yeah, when you move out. Um, so he's probably gonna kill me for doing this, but because it's only a small space, I think it should be fine. Um, and I'll just lock the bathroom door and won't let him come in here. So I ordered these from Amazon. They are little wall stickies. They're smaller squares than I thought they'd be. But to be fair, I reckon it'll actually look good. Um, so they're waterproof and you can like use them in your kitchen and your bathroom. And they weren't very expensive. So first of all, it says to clean the area that you're gonna stick it on. Cleaning, cleaning the area. If this was my old bit um, downstairs, it's obviously all across here, all around the toilet. So it would have been a nightmare. Whereas because this is only a little area, I'm hoping Misha the DIY queen will be fine. Um, let's bring you a bit closer. I think it's to peel off the plastic at the front to measure up. So, I'm obviously gonna have to, oh God, does that like lift over there? Yeah, it must do. I'm gonna have to create a bottom piece. Um, should we just do it? <laughs> Screw it, let's just do it. I'm gonna obviously have to cut off the excess. I don't know if that's better to probably do when it's not on the wall. So let me get a pair of scissors and a pen. Okie dokie. So, I realised I've got one of these, which is actually for an eyebrow pencil. But this is the perfect thing that you use to like cut it. It's like a little blade. Then I've got a ruler and a pen. So, if I am to, okay, can you, you're not very secure in there, mate. I think you might need to be replaced. If that's gonna stick there, then let's just figure out. Uh, the cut needs to go. So, as we all know, I'm not very good at cutting straight lines, but I'm gonna go with it. I've got my ruler. I just peel off the back. Oh, it's like a silvery. And then, oh my god, this is so scary. Oh my god, let's peel off me shit, doesn't matter. Okay, it's not awful. It's not awful. Now, I get the next piece.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, can I just say I tried? And this is a lot harder than it looks. So, okay, from far away, it's not awful. From far away, if we're far away from the vicinity, and we've got a few carefully placed items, it's not awful. You come up close, and you realise it's an absolute catastrophe. But... I tried. I am not going to be becoming a DIY queen anytime soon. Um, I think I need to do it with like marble ones that you can't see where they don't meet. Um, but like this one I did correctly. Like I've done it correctly all up here but they just don't sit perfectly and you can kind of see it. So I don't think white was a good idea. I don't think a non-textured was a good idea but you know it's fine. It will do for the moment. Um, should I rip it off? Should I go back to the original tiles? But now I can't, so, um, Anya's boyfriend is a plumber, so I kind of want him to do all the tiles here. I want to get a new mirror and replace that light, but I don't think Dad's going to let me do that. And there's one thing me sticking on tiles, which he didn't want me to do. There's another thing replacing the entire unit. But I'd be paying for it, and it would make his house look better when it's sold, so he would technically profit off me. Just an idea. Anyway, this is still an absolute S-H-I-T hole. So, I'm going to start trying to put things away. Let's try. Aloha video. Hi, welcome. So, this is the end of part two. I know it kind of ended a little bit abruptly. Um, but there's just so much going on. Sorry, you can probably tell it's the night. I've got a really lovely spot. Um... I'm a little bit tired, um, but yes, so since this video, I have gone to Ikea, but I have only managed to buy like three of the things I wanted, because most of the stuff I want for my bedroom is out of stock, in store and online, which is a pain, but I'm sure those people have got the same problem, so you know, bigger, bigger problems in the world. Um, so the plan was for the next video, for next Thursday... <gasps> Oh, sorry for making you yawn, don't know why I'm so yawny all of a sudden. Uh, the plan was for next Thursday's video to be um, the room tour to show you the final product. But that won't be happening anytime soon. I still have so much to organise, so much to order. I've been to Home Sense and to three different Home Senses and they all have the same products with literally nothing in it apart from garden furniture. Um, I did buy some new cushions. Um, so I've got some nice new cushions, if you can see. Um, and then I bought a mini fan, and I bought a plant pot from Sainsbury's, and that is literally all I've managed to pick up, and then a few cupboards. Um, but otherwise, I have so much more to order. Chows! And a shower rail. So, sadly, I do think it's probably going to be a little while until the final video comes out, where I show you the full transformation. But hopefully it'll be well worth the wait. I hope you've enjoyed the second part. Um, so yeah, I will love you and leave you. Make sure this video a like and subscribe. Um, let me know if we want like a homeware haul. So I like haul all the things that I've bought for it. Um, or should I just go into detail in the room tour and just make it a really detailed room. Well, floor tour even. Oof. Don't I sound bougie? Anyway, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. I've lots and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.